Hello, eighth graders. Today we're doing a module for the problem set for lesson 27. In order to save time, we're not going to do all the problems. We're going to be doing problems 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 11. Just worry about completing these, and these are the ones I'll be doing. Once again, 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Please remember at any time you can pause the video. Um, you can rewind the video to watch something over if it's not making sense. Or if you have any questions, you can always um, uh, chat me through Teams. You can email me. You can call me through Teams. So it says in our instructions that we need to determine the nature of each system. So once again, um, we got to decide are these lines parallel or do they intersect? And one more option that we uh, learned today with Ms. McGinnis is what if they're the same line? So if I have a line and I draw it, right, that's my line. And then I draw another line. Let's say this line is y equals x. And then I draw another line, and this other line is going to be 2y equals 2x. And when I realize and I draw this line, it's right on top of the other line, right? So what is my system of equations? What is What solution would, would do, where do these intersect? They intersect everywhere because they're on top of each other. They're the same line. So this would have infinite solutions. If it is the same line, you'd have infinite solutions. And we know it's the same line if they're... Um, you have that proportionalities between your A's, B's, and C's in standard form. So let's first look at this one. Um, we have Y equals 3 sevenths X minus 8. We know that 3 sevenths is our slope. Negative 8 is our Y intercept for this one. We don't know about this one. Let's change this to slope intercept form. So I'm going to have 3X minus 7y equals 1. So first let's move the 3x over because we want to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I'm going to have over here a negative 7y equals a negative 3x plus 1. Now I need to divide by negative 7 Divide everything by negative 7. Negative divided by a negative is a positive y. And negative divided by a negative is a positive 3 sevenths x. And a positive divided by a negative is a negative 1 seventh. Now if I look at these and I compare my slopes, my slope here is 3 sevenths and my slope here is 3 sevenths, both positive. So these have the same slope. If we compare our y-intercepts, I have a y-intercept of negative one-seventh here and a y-intercept of eight here. So these have the same slope. They have different intercepts, different y-intercepts. That tells us they're parallel. Therefore, there's no solution. Remember, parallel lines will never cross, so there's no solution. Let's go on to number four. Hmm. Number four, we have both of these in slope-intercept form. With an exception, this really isn't in slope-intercept form because we have 5y, and that needs to be just y, doesn't it? Okay, so if I have 5y equals 15 divided by 4x plus 25, and I need to divide by 5, right? Divide everything by 5. This is going to be 1 equals... 15 divided by 5 is plus 5. I got to do the 15 fourths divided by 5. So let me come over here. 15 fourths divided by 5, or 5 over 1, right? Remember to divide, we multiply by the reciprocal. 
So this would be 15 fourths times 1 over 5. This would be 15 over 20. If I divide top and bottom by 5, numerator divided by 5, I'm going to end up with 3 fourths. So this is going to be a 3 fourths. Now if I look at the, our two equations, I rewrote this equation to be like this, right? And then I have this equation. Aren't these the same equations? So these are the same equations. If we have the same equations, it's the same line, so it's infinite solutions. Okay, it was the same line, infinite solutions. Let's go on to number five. Hmm. So I'm going to kind of rearrange this so it's more like we're used to it. This could be y equals x plus 9. And to rearrange this, let's see, I have x equals 4y minus 6. Let's add 6 to both sides. I'm going to get 4y equals x plus 6 divide by 4 and get y equals 1 fourth x plus 6 fourths or y equals 1 fourth x plus 6 fourths are these the same slope nope so they're not the same line they don't have the same slope i'm sorry I need to move that up so these are two different lines so therefore, we can solve this using substitution. Using substitution, I know that my y equals x plus 9. So in my equation for y, I'll put x plus 9. So I have x, x equals 4 times y. And remember, for my y, I'm going to put x plus 9 because that's what y equals. So x equals 4y x plus 9 minus 6. Let's do our distributive property. Distribute this out. And we're going to have x equals 4x plus 36 minus 6. Well, we combine these like terms here. And we're going to have x equals 4x plus 30. And we need to uh, get rid of the... Um, coefficient. Uh, we usually do the coefficient with the smallest term, uh, so we're going to subtract x from both sides. 0 equals 3x plus 30. Subtract 30 from both sides. 3x equals negative 30. Divide by 3 and x is going to equal negative 10. Okay, so x is negative 10, right? x is negative 10. We've got to find out what y is. So we're going to come back up here, and we're going to use this equation, x plus 9 equals y. We know x is negative 10, right? So we're going to put negative 10 in for x. Negative 10 plus 9 equals y. Negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1 equals y. So here's our y. So our solution, our xy coordinate would be x is negative 10, y is negative 1. 
a lot of work to get to this one answer. But that's why we're in eighth grade, not first. Let's go on to problem number seven. Um, let's let's look at this. Um, I kind of noticed something here. If I was to take this equation and multiply everything by two, right? Take this equation and multiply it by two. Let's kind of do our distributor property. I'd end up with 6x times 2 would be 12x. Negative 7y times 2 would be minus 14y equals 1 half times 2, 1 half times 2, which would be 2 over 1, should be 2 over 2, which would equal 1, equals 1. Oh, that is the same as this, isn't it? So here we have the same equation. Therefore, we know it's infinite solutions. Let's look at number eight. Hmm. Um, I'm going to do that same thing here. I'm going to multiply this by 2 because it looks kind of familiar to that. So if we do our, basically multiply everything by 2, we'd get 10x minus 4y equals 12. And what if I multiplied everything by negative 2? I have a negative 10x plus 4y equals a negative 12. This is a negative 10x plus 4y equals negative 14. If I was to do these into slope intercept form, I'd end up with a negative, I would end up with a positive 4 tenths slope here and a positive 4 tenths slope here, but I'm going to have different y intercepts because of these. Right? So same slope tells me that these are parallel. If these are parallel lines, then there is no solution. Okay. Let's go to number 10. Uh, I'm going to rewrite this. This is y equals 7x minus 10. Just flipped it around. Do that. Notice we have different slopes. Different slopes mean that they can't be the same line and they can't be parallel. So therefore, we're going to have a solution. So let's solve it. I'm going to go y. But for y, I'm going to put this in because this is what y equals. 7x minus 10 equals... Uh, 5x plus 2. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. 5x plus 12, I'm sorry. Variables on both sides, so let's get rid of the one with the smallest variable. Smallest coefficient, I should say. So we get 2x minus 10 equals 12. Now we need to add 10 to both sides. We get 2x equals 22. We're going to divide by 2, and x is going to be 11. So, so far for our solution, we have x equals 11. We need to figure out y. So let's take this equation. And for x, let's put in 11, because we know x is 11. So let's go 7 times our 11 minus 10 equals y. Uh, 7 times 11 is 77 minus 10 equals y. 
77, so 67 equals y. So our y is going to be 67. So our answer here is 11, 67. That's our coordinate pair. And let's go to our last one. Our last one, they want us to write a system equation. Two equations where our solution would be negative 3 and 9. Where our x would be negative 3 and 9. Well, let me do this. What if I did x plus 3? What would that be? Negative, I'm sorry, x plus y. What would x plus y equal? Negative 3 plus 9 would be negative, nope, would be positive 6, wouldn't it? Start at negative 3, go up 9, we'd be positive 6. So I could x plus y equals 6. Now let's figure out what x minus y is. Our x is negative 3 minus 9. If I start at negative 3 and go down 9 more, I'd end up at negative 12. So I can say x minus y is negative 12. And if I use this as my system of equations, then my answer would be negative 3, 9. Have a good day.